Welcome to Electro Online, and now let's talk about what high noon will be like at the North Pole or at the South Pole for that matter. But in this case, we're looking at the North Pole. So, um, what would it be like? And it actually is very interesting. We're used to seeing the sun rise in the morning and seeing the sun set in the evening, but that doesn't happen at the North Pole. The North Pole, something very different happens. Let's say we're at the North Pole June 21st. It won't be quite as cold at that time because it is receiving sunshine. But even at high noon, what will be the elevation of the sun? Where would you be looking for the sun? It turns out the sun will be in the sky only 23 and a half degrees above the horizon. That's not very high above the horizon. And the reason for that is the earth is tilted like that. So when the earth is tilted like in this direction and the sun is coming from here and you're standing at the North Pole, the horizon will be going in this direction where the blue line is. The sun will be coming in here. And since the tilt of the Earth is 23 and a half degrees, the angle between the sun rays coming in from the sun and the horizon is only 23 and a half degrees. And that's the highest the sun can ever be when you're at the North Pole. Now what's also very interesting is that's not just the case for high noon. That's actually the case for the entire day. For 24 hours, the sun will be at a height of 23 and a half degrees above the horizon. As the Earth turns around the axis, if you're directly at the North Pole, you can see as the Earth turns and you're right here and you're turning with the Earth, the sunshine coming in from there will always be at the same angle for the entire 24 hour period. What happens is then the sun, the summer continues on and now it's July and then it becomes August. Well, what happens is if this is where the, the sun rays come down from, the earth will, as it goes around the sun, be oriented differently towards the sun rays. And then finally, when we reach the autumnal equinox and then again after the winter, when we reach the vernal equinox, what happens is the earth will then uh, well, the best way to look at it is like this. If the sun rays come in like that and you're standing there at the North Pole, the rays will come in at the same angle as the horizon. So what will happen at that point is at the beginning of fall, that's where the sun will be relative to you when you're standing at the North Pole. The sun will just be at the horizon. And again, it's not just that the sun rises and disappears. The sun will be there for the entire day, September 21st or March 21st in the springtime, the sun will be at the horizon, and as the earth turns, you can keep seeing the sun as the sun goes around like that, but at the very same height above the horizon. And the sun, every day the sun will sink a little bit further and further and further down. Eventually the sun will disappear below the horizon, and then what will it be like at the North Pole? Well, at that point, you'll be facing this direction. In December 21st, the horizon will now make an angle of 23 and a half degrees with respect to the rays of the sun. So the rays of the sun come in 23 and a half degrees below the horizon and so therefore it's perpetual night. Day after day after day for 24 hours you will not see the sun. It'll be dark and all you see is the moon and the stars. Now you won't see the moon for 24 hours of course because that depends upon where you're at relative to the moon as the earth turns and as the moon goes around the earth of course. But that's just a picture just to get the, the gist of things. So it's really interesting. At the North Pole, the sun doesn't change elevation from day between different hours of the day and the night. It stays at the same elevation for the entire day. And then slowly every day, the sun, day after day, the sun will slowly start sinking towards the horizon. When the fall starts on September the 21st, that's when the sun begins to sink below the horizon. And after that, for the next six months, you will no longer see the sun. It will be dark at the North Pole. And of course, at the South Pole, the very same thing happens. Now you say, well, that's not true, is it? Because when I was in Alaska or when I, when I was in Northern Canada or when I was in Scandinavia, the sun went up and it came down. And even though I was above the Arctic Circle and we saw daylight for the entire day, the sun didn't stay at the same elevation. And that is indeed true. If you're not at the North Pole, if you're somewhere between the Arctic Circle and the North Pole, uh, near, of course, December 21st, you will see the sun go up and go down, not completely below the uh, horizon. It will stay above the horizon. It will be 24 hours of light, but the sun will not stay at the same elevation. But when you're directly at the North Pole, the sun will always be at the same height every day. And on slowly, day after day, the sun will go lower and lower and lower until it reaches below the horizon. And that's very interesting. It's well worth experiencing, I suppose. I've never experienced it, but now that I think about it, that would be a fun trip, wouldn't it? Anyway, that's how that works.